Hello everyone. Um, I thought I'd make this quick video tutorial on how to create and upload mechanism in uh, Python using Flask. So the thing is very simple. So I'm going to jump right in. Okay, so I have an empty project here. So what I'm going to do is start off with creating a Python package called the SAC where my old source code will reside in. Uh, it's a good practice to do this, but it's not mandatory. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create my templates folder where my old templates will be. This is the default naming. You can change the configuration however you want, but I'm going to go with the defaults to speed things up. So I have this one here. I have the uh, templates folder and I need the main application. So I'm going to create a Python file and I'm going to name it app. There we go. This app will contain all my necessary code. The templates will contain will contain my HTML files and there we go I think we're ready to go so the very first thing we need to do is um, import some libraries the very first library we really need is called OS import OS this is uh, this is the library we're going to use to manipulate around the files so the other thing we need is to import flask uh, from flask we from flask Pull flask, and there we go. Those are the two main libraries we need at this point of time. So now we move on to the main thing. Okay, so we need to define an, uh, a Flask app. So we're going to call app Flask, and then we give it the name. Okay, so now we need to define the roots. Say, for example, um, we have test.com. So what happens when the user navigates to this? Or say we need to uh, we need to specify say a root say to upload a file. We name it front slash upload. Now this is called the root. Um, now we need to define those so the uh, system knows what to display uh, on which link or in which root. Yeah. So we start off with the base root, which is basically the home root or the index. So it's basically a front slash, which basically means the domain name. I'm going to define this as index. You can define it how, define it however you want, but I think this is the uh, common, a common good practice so that people would know the index is the starting uh, is where everything starts from. And then we're going to return render template. I believe you're familiar with. I'm assuming you are familiar with Flask and how to render templates and so on and so forth. But so when I'm going, when the user navigates to this or to the root, I'm going to display an upload template and upload it to the HTML file. Now this is a red file. This is not imported. So what we're going to do is we also need to import render template. And while we're at it, we also need to re import requests. And there we go. So this is uh, the main part. Now this will be displayed when the user navigates to the root or the domain name. However, there is a slight problem. We do not have a file called upload.html, so we're going to create that right now and name it upload. In this upload file, we're going to do a couple of things and going to do, um, let's name this upload, give it a title, and then name, create an ht one and then call, uh, file uploader, name uploader. And then what we need to do is create a form. Now this is very important. We're going to give it an ID. Let's call it upload form. There we go. And then we're going to give it an action. This is basically what happens when this form gets submitted. When this form gets submitted, we are going to navigate for URL for and the method called upload in app.y. Um, this pretty much reflects um, this part here we go you will understand this while we code while we proceed and then this uh, method gets submitted using a post method we're going to name this post like that and then what we also need is to this is very important to upload files we're going to add an ink, uh, ink type attribute and then we're going to name it multi part basically we need to submit multiple files and such there we go. That's the form. Uh, the other thing we need to do now we need to insert the HTML uh, elements. 
now what we need to do or the elements we need is basically an input of type file of type it was uh, file oh sorry I always get standard mixed up of type file and then we giving we are going to give it a name the uh, name in name it shall we name it file and then we wanted to accept only images so what we are going to do is add image and then front slash all sorts all types of images and then we also wanted to allow multiple uploads that that's all and then we need to add an input uh, a button of the type submit type submit ah oh, come on I was getting this mixed up now this is my first video so do excuse the mistakes I'm making while I'm speaking and then we're going to name it send or whatever name um, name you want we close the tag I think that's all are we missing anything that's the form okay so that's the form uh, so when the user comes into this one uh, navigates to the root the upload.html gets displayed and we are promoted with this one okay so let's move on to the next part so in here we create we should have a method called upload so let's create the root for upload app the root and then we shall name it um, front slash upload so come on front, come on okay so front slash upload and then we define the function upload there we go and in it we shall define the necessary mechanism for this upload method now what happens is that when the user submits the button what we want to take is we want to upload the files to a given path now our path in the server it's best that we um, now a, a good practice let, let's define the root the app root of this application yeah, in our server so this is where the OS comes in handy we use os.path directory name the IR name and then in it we shall get the OS path of the working absolute path of the working uh, file of the working of the working project and that could be uh, uh, denoted using underscore underscore file underscore underscore so in app root we will get the string or a, a file path of our application here so let's get that so what we need to do target let's name a variable naming target and in target we want it to now app the truth pretty much gets us here to src what we want to do now is we want to join or add to this path a folder where our uploads will reside in in this case we're going to name it images so let me go ahead and use OS again as the path to join um, to join sorry to join and then we shall use app to root along with um, a folder called so yeah now images uh, is supposed to be the folder that we want to to store the files in and then what we need to do now is basically get the things up and done yeah now that we have the target what we need to do let's for debugging purposes let's print this target just to verify that we're getting it right that we're getting it so again uproot gets us right here to source because um, absolute path of file which is the app is basically in source so what we need to do we need to add another folder folder name to source so we'll be getting into source images in this case basically the images is where we want to store the files and OS the path join basically adds uh, the, the naming as a folder name yeah so now what we need to do now we want to need to make if the folder does not exist images folder in our case it does not exist so we need to make sure that we create it so if not OS dot path and that we can make sure that the folder exists using uh, the method is the IR in path uh, method in paths class OS dot path dot is the IR and then we need to give it the name target our variable name here so if this one does not exist we need to make it 
mkdir make directory and then we can, we are going to give it the path target now after that what we need to do is that we need to loop through you see we are, if you remember in the form here we allowed multiple files now what we need to do is we need to loop through the files using request dot get files get list sorry files dot get list files dot get list list and then we're going to give it uh, the uh, this what we called it name here yeah? uh, file here yeah. then we're going to give it file now this one returns a list of file names so what we need to do is we need to store this uh, so what we need to do is loop through the list so looping through the list for um, say uploaded file or file file in uh, request file and then for each let's print the file just to be sure that we're having everything according to plan and then we need to give it uh, the file name we need to obtain the file name from the list so we we'll just name it file dot file name that's it file name the reason is we're doing this is because we're getting an object here now a list of objects of files to be uploaded here so we need to get the file name from each of the objects now file dot file name will return the file name of the will simply return the file name now the destination we need we need to set a destination of the say for example we, what we need to do is we need to tell the server to upload this specific file to this location with this specific name so we can uh, do this using destination sorry destination let's name the destination to be uh, join the path and then this one join and then we need to give it uh, the list of uh, target which is basically the folder name and the file name so what we are doing we are adding the file name to the folder name where we to the folder where we want to store the image which basically we are adding the file name to the images folder which is the string here and then what we need to do is basically let's print destination just to be sure that we have everything as expected and then after we so we have the file name we added the file name to the destination folder so now we basically need to save so what we need to say is file.save and then save it to, a, to the specific destination that we just specified destination like so and that's it now when everything gets uploaded to the server what we need to do is we need to return render template as a message or return to another the complete .html say the HTML file another view and then what we need to do here is simply add it so that we won't forget it complete the HTML and then we just say for example voila file uploaded there you go just a message just to get things now I think we got everything ready we have this is the main route as the user navigates the route and then this is the uh, upload path oh yeah what we need to do is basically make sure that if we call this class uh, yeah we need to run the app basically we called the app uh, this we created the flask app and then we created these met methods for each uh, these routes inside of app now we need to run it using app run port now you see I'm not explaining much on what on flask here because I'm assuming that you already know what flask is and you have a basic uh, understanding of how to use flask that's my assumption here in this tutorial so do excuse me if no if not if I'm not elaborating much on these terms now what we need to do is just make sure that this is a good practice um, to have this um, um, if name underscore main is just to be sure that the app is called is run if it's called on its own and not run through if this say for example if we use this module in another uh, class or another module then this one would not run this will only run if we call it directly if we call if we run app .py, app .py directly here yeah? again sorry this is my first attempt to create a video tutorial so I may be um, I may miss some words I may be talking as if I'm uh, you know very fast so do excuse that Anyway, so let's go ahead and run the project now. I think we're ready. Uh, run. 
uh, everything seems fine so things seem fine here we do not have any errors so let's go ahead and call let's start a window 0 to 7 there we go so let me minimize this so we can see the output here the files here the namings and stuff so this is the file uploaded that we've created this is the form now let me get uh, let's upload this image here and click send hopefully nothing happens no error gets now we seems to have we seem to have a problem here uh, we'll probably need to add okay so this error here let me check oh yeah oh 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 let me see we have the port I don't have anything else running on the same port but we do have a mistake here you see we did not specify the method so what we need to do is simply specify this to be post yeah let's make sure that the form is actually post yes indeed so uh, what we want to do here is that the user does not access this unless this is an actually a post request so let's run this again and just make sure that things are working now you fire up this let me go back to the root so now everything is working for this one we get uh, the upload template gets called let me upload uh, an image let's see voila file uploaded okay so let's go through this real quickly um, so we printed out the file we first of all printed up the target so we joined the uproot which is basically the path up to the source and then you can see that the images folder got created here and then this is the image that we just opened let's open this up and voila it actually was uploaded let me close this and uh, let's examine the output here so this is the path and this is the images folder that was appended right here and then this is the list of files now we just uploaded a single file we will test it for multiple files now you see this is kind of an object here multiple details in here and then we printed out the destination so the destination this is the source file this is the images and this is the file name let's try it again for multiple of files and test this using okay I've, uh, let's try it again let's navigate again to the root let's upload multiple files using control I got to choose two files and then we got promoted with the two files uh, information here now let's click on send and file uploaded let's examine the output now we got two uh, two files two two calls here for the you see this is the first file and this is the second file let's examine these are the two files they are, let's verify that they are actually uploaded and they get opened they get opened sorry there you go voila I think that's it yeah so basically you can make whatever you want now any changes CSS to the form to the upload HTML you can add whatever CSS you please uh, you can add the scripts you can uh, you can do whatever you want now so yeah I hope that helped and uh, do apologize for the mistakes I've been making and for the um, maybe you know I do probably speak very fast or maybe miss some words so do excuse me for that this is my first hopefully in the next videos things will be much 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 better thank you for following and have a good day